What's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of the Unlaced Podcast. Uh, we are episode 12, no, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, sorry, I'm skipping ahead, sorry. Uh, I am your host, Chris. Uh, to my far I'm Gabe. right. I'm Gabe. This time, yeah, right? I'm Gabe. Yeah. Right? Yeah, far and, right. And in the middle, the guest of honor. What got, up, what up? It's Michael Dean. Going. What up, you guys? How's it going? Let's get it. Yeah, finally, we've gotten him here. Yeah, man. He's sitting here. We finally got you on the show after, you know, a lot of... Hey, we're gonna get Michael Dean on the show. We gotta get him on the show. Um, if people look back at our Lace Him Up event, he was um, he was also on there. That was a little special episode. He came out and talked. Yeah, um, yeah, how are you doing? How you guys? How are you guys all doing? How's everybody doing? We got Anthony in the back. All right, we got everybody here. Let's get it. All right, we're trying to wake up. Yeah, yeah everybody's uh, low energy. It's a little bright now. You know, it's honestly because I'm getting lit. That's my problem. <laughs> um, <laughs> But yeah, man, uh, it's been fun. I remember that last episode. That was fun. Yeah. That was a quick little interview at that uh, yeah. Lace Him Up event. Shout out to Michelangelo. Yep. It's a homie. Michelangelo. Um, but yeah, I've been good. Just uh, a lot of things happened the past few weeks. I've been uh, doing a lot of things for my sponsors. Uh, mm-hmm. Just trying to make sure I, you know, make those commitments happen. Because mm-hmm. you know how it is. It's like, I'm not doing it just because they're sponsors. What yeah. like to call them. It's actually a partnership. I mm-hmm. like I like what they're doing. They like what I'm doing. So we just you want to have a shout out? Yeah, yeah shout out to uh, Wacky Grinders, uh, the highest craft. You guys can see this on my page. Um, I'll, you know, those are actually the two I've been working with hand in hand. Shout out to Puff Sauce. Um, mm-hmm. We got a new line Dark. of flavor coming out. I've seen that. I've seen you. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. On the other uh, puff sauce, yo. Yeah, man, that it's a uh, we got a new flavor coming together. It's gonna be a uh, strawberry kiwi. Okay. So uh, that flavor is gonna be coming out probably in October. Date got pushed back a little bit just because I was trying to figure out what flavor I wanted, and mm-hmm. you know, you know how that is. You just want to make something that smacks. And everybody's, yeah. I really am not doing it just to, you know what I mean. I want to make sure it tastes good. Mm-hmm. So just right. been doing a lot of work. That's what's up. Um, how you doing, Jacob? I know you. Man, said you're... I'm a little tired. <laughs> I'm just I'm just lazy. Everyone knows I'm lazy, and like just getting up is a struggle for me sometimes, bro. I got home at like three in the morning last night. My alarm was for eight. I'm and, scared. And I looked at it. I looked at the alarm and I was like, Nah, man. Wow. <laughs> you just gonna let them know? <laughs> I ain't doing you this just, right now. You just you just let them know. Mm-hmm. Want to let them give them a you know a hint of what they got, well, what they can expect at home. Yeah, being honest, right? And that's what, that was real. I, I slept for another half an hour, and then that was that. Was that? You uh, went to you went to horror nights. Yeah, I went to horror nights. Last you, night. you said that you were oh, unimpressed. Man. It was. I was unimpressed. Yeah, I was. Uh, I was. Mm. It, it was uh, that experience. You know how everyone hits that experience that keeps you from wanting to do it again. Yeah, that was that last night for me. I know Ben and uh, Jeff and over there. Yeah. I know. Oh, you yeah, saw? No, yeah. Oh, no, I didn't see him, but he told me. Uh, yeah, they hit me up on the ground. Yeah, he said. I think he said it was charged too. So, like he was like, yeah, it was whatever. So mm-hmm. it's just yeah, kinda... I'm telling you, man. I... They they saw The Walking Dead. Maze. The little Honestly, going through like the little lockers. I didn't really do much of that. I haven't even been to Hawaii in a while. But no. When he said that was whack, I was like, I looked at him crazy. I was like, what? And he's like, yeah, bro. He's like, what did you say? You were like, uh, I don't remember. You said it was like unrealistic or something. Oh, well, they, we get that. A lot of, um, they got more like it, uh, it's more digital. So uh, uh, oh. the, 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 uh, well, that's why. Stranger Things is a lot of props. There's a lot of like just um, like mechanical things. Oh, there's not actual people. Not in that one. Not in yeah. Stranger Things one. So you don't have I don't oh, this thing I remember to be honest. It was, <laughs> you were, he was like, yeah, now I'm like whatever after well, this after, after that, after line, <laughs> that line was long as shit, dude. Once I made it in, that was like, damn. That's it? You know, it kinda like, yeah. yeah was nobody like, was chasing nobody around, no clowns were chasing people uh-huh. around. Nah, even that, even then, like at the beginning it wasn't there wasn't that many people all getting scared. I, I love more nice because like I saw like seeing the kids when I I know you um you have a family. It's, yeah, I got a daughter. Is she uh, old enough to do hormones, or you think yeah, that's well, like I mean, a, don't do it? She just <laughs> that seems like <laughs> it's not her thing. Yeah. Oh okay. Let's just put that. She don't like to be scared. Oh uh, okay. But yeah, she's uh she's four though. She's old enough to go. She likes to go to the off. She likes to go to Disneyland. Mm-hmm. She just is not one of those. Fun. She doesn't like those rides, you know. But yeah, like my fiance, she'll take her out. Like she'll take her. Like, she likes Chuck E. Cheese. She likes the yeah. you know the typical kid thing. Chuck E. Cheese pizza is still elite. Oh. Top three, and it's not three. I agree. Yeah. Right. Definitely not so, top three. Oh, it's those, definitely top three, but it's not. Those three. cinnamon things they got there for. Yeah, well, I haven't seen. I haven't seen those. I, I, like, what I, I, you, I don't what? know what they're called. They're just good. I got turned away because I didn't have a kid one time when I went to Chuck E. Cheese. So because <laughs> oh, yeah. I went to Chuck E. Cheese without a kid, I just wanted the pizza. <laughs> no, I, 
Yeah, I just wanted to. I really just wanted the pizza. No, that was like legit yeah. what it was. I was like, I want to chuck and cheese pizza, and I went, and the dude was like, he was like, Chris uh, the Creep. The, the but that was that was I guess that was what they're like the name of the thing, I was like yo he was like do you have a kid there it is oh no yeah that was what it was he was like um, do you have a party here and I was like no I'm here to just get a pizza and he was like do you oh, yeah, have no. a kid and I was like no and I was he was like oh, sorry I can't I can't let you in. I was like what huh I didn't know that well I, I, but I get like after I left I was like okay that makes sense because like yeah. some guy like yeah. Can I, can I get here? Get you some, you know, I try to visualize that. Yeah, like, like as you think about it, you're like, oh, that's easy pickings for anybody yeah. that is. You yeah. realize yeah. what, what situation you were really in after that? Like, yeah, exactly. Damn, I, was, I was that guy, yeah. that yeah. weirdo. That, yeah, he went home and told, <laughs> he told his friends, like, yo, some weird dude's kind of coming here by himself with no kids. Like, what's wrong with him? Yeah, you know, yeah. I thought I was a little man. But yeah, so we are here. Um, we are at Equivalence. Um, mm-hmm. Shout out to Anthony. Um, we've had a long week. Um, I know there was no episode last week yeah. um, that you guys saw, but that was just based off of just trying to get everybody in, in line tune. and everybody. October, yeah. October is a, a hefty month. Oh, exactly. Yeah. So, yeah, go, go, ahead, go, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Um, uh, here you go. We got some on camera walk bys real yeah. quick. Yeah. Um, you know, cameo, cameo, real quick. Oh, no, you're good. You're good. You're good. You're good. Yeah. Cameo, um, cameo. But yeah, Quibble's so cameo. <laughs> yeah, so we um there was no uh there was no episode last week. Mm-hmm. Uh, but there will be an episode this week because we're seeing the episode this week, of course. Uh, so let's get into it. Let's kind of jump into it. Let's let, let's start off with just to give people an idea of you, mm-hmm. what you have coming up, and then also just give us like a little taste because on lace them up they on the uh, lace them up episode that we did, you, they saw. You know, we asked you general questions like what your favorite shoe is and stuff yeah. like that. But kind of go into more detail, like something that you're really into, like what you what you've been looking at, all that stuff, so, so people know. Yo, this is Michael Dino. He likes. Yeah, he likes oh, okay. Yeah. Well, me as far as shoes, like to be 100 percent honest with you guys, um, I don't just like designer shoes. I don't just like Nike or Jordans. Yeah. I'm like that guy that's like, if I see this that stands out, mm-hmm. I'm not gonna judge it. I'm gonna like, I'm gonna check on it. You yeah. know what I mean? I like swag. I like drip. I like yeah. anything that kind of just like catches my attention. And that's like, I don't know. I've just never been the hype. It's like, oh, when's the new, you know, when's the new this, that, and the yeah. third coming out? Like, I'm just really not that guy. Okay. I have to see it. If I like it, I like it. You know, like Versace's. I got the Versace chain reaction. Okay, oh, those are um, fire. But like, exactly. But most people be like, oh, those are, those are like the ugly shit. I'm like, what do you mean? Like, <laughs> you just don't know how to wear shit. Mm-hmm. But you know, you don't know how to wear shit. Like I don't know how to explain that. Like it, it, it looks you like suck it's at wearing shit. Yeah. If you don't, if you're not, if that's not on your avenue, yeah. and you see that shoe, you're gonna, it's gonna scare you. Yeah, oh yeah, for sure. It's gonna scare you. Away. Facts, but it's like that's a personal preference. That's what I'm saying. Like yeah. exactly, my personal preference. Like if it stands out to me, that's what I go for. Most people don't like to stand out, or maybe they don't like things that kind of make like red. You won't see too many people jumping out in a red jumpsuit. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like. But that to me no, is. I was hanging on a certain block. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's right. Oh, there. Sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, we're not going to turn this into that. We're not going to turn this into that. No, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, Anthony's going to edit a split second of just the screen going all fuzzy right there because you scared us and then we're back. Oh, no, no, no. I'm going to back in, Anthony. Oh, my okay. oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. I'm, I'm sorry. This is not a Toys R Us commercial. <laughs> all right. It's so <you're> fine. Like, <laughs> So you like you're pretty much anything anything that catches your attention. You're down to cop. You're down to rock. Not necessarily, but yeah, that idea. So okay, like, yeah. it, it's not gonna be like just because the shoe looks super sick, you know. Like, I have to get it. But realistically, I like bright colors. You know, mm-hmm. I like um, shoes that are like kind of like mostly red and black. Those okay. are like, that's like my two favorite mesh combos. Mm-hmm. Rock, rarely you find shoes that are dope like you know like black and gold. But and then you got the you got masters, you know, you got, you know what I mean? Yeah. You got the, so there's a lot of things that like, a lot of people like differently than me. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I just kind of like it if it looks dope. Like, and, but not necessarily like anything peacockish. Like, I'm not going to wear something with like feathers and just it sticks <laughs> out. But it just has to look tight. Would, yes. would you, would you rock the, um, I don't know if they still, I'm, I'm pretty sure they still don't like the Ferrari, uh, the, Pumas? the Ferrari Pumas that they give, that they have in like the Ferrari store. <laughs> No, I don't, I've never, <laughs> anybody that wears Ferrari shirts and stuff, I don't talk to them. Oh, sheesh. We just don't talk. You know? That was going to be my first purchase once I got a Ferrari. If I, if I got one, I'm like, yo, hey, can okay, I get that full different. get up to? I need, I need, I need to step out like a race car driver. That's different. If I, if I got a Ferrari, I'd, I'd, I'd fuck around and get a Ferrari mm. hat just to jump around and, you know, take pictures of the dealership. That'd be tight. But, 
Now I want to. Now I want to get a Ferrari hat and just nah, walk man, around. Now my opinion is totally different because I I ain't wearing those Ferrari joints, bro. No, nah. I, ain't, I ain't wearing those. You, I, even if you have like, Ferrari, they're like this thin in the material. Yeah, like, it's I'm terrible. Not, but I'm not doing that, dude. But you got a Ferrari though. No, thank you. <laughs> I'd rather wear those Ferrari Fourteens, bro, than Ferrari Pumas. Well, yeah, that's the first. That's of course the first thing that you put on. But as like as a Ferrari owner, I feel like I have to get the Ferrari get up, like the little sweatsuit. No, no, I feel you on that. Like you if know? I like if I, you know what I mean, if Lamborghini had a sweatsuit, I'm copping that. If I caught a Lamborghini, you know what I mean. Like I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure you do. Like, they, they, they don't, they don't. I've never seen one, but I'm pretty sure it's like. Hey, thank you for purchasing. Oh, yeah, like low key. Check the trunk or the, yeah, uh, the hood. The I mean, that's all right. Nah, man, they ain't giving you nothing, bro. You, they what? ain't giving you nothing. Bentley or was it they Bentley or Rolls Royce that give gives you an umbrella in, in the car? Wait, yeah, what? But, yeah, the, their doors come with them. This is the Rolls Royce, right? Yeah, that has the umbrella yeah. inside the door. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm yeah, pretty yeah. sure. I'm pretty sure Lamborghini's like, yo, here, here's nah, a yo, here's a commemorative cap. They probably give you like they probably give you like I've seen cars they come with just like. Fancy uh, booklets mm-hmm. where all the paperwork comes in, and like a bag. Like a little, you know, like um, <laughs> like Porsche and stuff. <laughs> they literally <laughs> give you like. Uh, <laughs> they literally give you just like a leather like fucking thing, a little. Oh bag. yeah, like um, really do Mercedes does it a lot. Mercedes will have like the little bag and shit like that. Um, you know. um, <laughs> <laughs> no, we, we gotta ask. We gotta ask. We gotta ask. I know the Ferrari and them, they give you bags and stuff to take your stuff with them. I believe that. They give you, yeah, but they don't use it. I don't think they give you anything in the car. Thanks for that you're looking for, Chris. I'm, I'm just saying, no he said drip. Drinks. I'm saying, like, yo, we walk out and it's a Ferrari. No yo, Puma joints. No, let's let's, let's, get, let's uh, all get the no. Ferrari Puma joints. Hey. Let's walk them all. Puma, Puma has BMW ones, though. I kind of like those. No. Yeah, anything with a car on it? No. Oh, well, I'm, 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 we gonna get one day. One day we're gonna be like, "Yo, Michael Dean, come to the show. We got, we got we, something we, for you. Oh, we're gonna no. gift them for our. We, you guys we, do we that, got you. We got I don't you. Know why. Right, right, right. Please, please, please. <laughs> he's, 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 he's done, done with us after that. Like, yeah, nah. So, yeah, that was that was cool. Um, no. So, like, with all that being said, of course. Um, do you? Are you a? Are you? Because I know, like, for me, at most points when it came to shoes, was if I see a shoe, I'm not gonna buy it unless I know I have. Outfits, or if yes. it goes outfits, sale, not outfits, but outfits for us. Yes. Yeah. Well, not even outfits, but I see them going. Yeah, like is that is that because I see like there's a lot of shoes I see like especially design. Like okay, I'll start here. The Balenciagas like those little. I've seen people look good in them. They yeah. look great, uh, the but they're ugly. I don't know. What it's tough. Yeah, I mean, those I like, like those them, little, those like. Uh, Soda sculptures, <laughs> shape of right? yeah. yeah. I know what you're talking about, but yeah, but I'm saying like yeah, I see people rock them, but usually it's like a type dog or something. You know? What yeah, I mean? like, that's why I usually see it. Uh, but that's just probably dope if you can look at them because you're right. And it's tough. It's a cutoff point with that. So, it goes all the way up to your ankle. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, above yeah. your ankle. I mean, so are you rocking? Uh, well, I, I would rock Lindsay August. Those are hard. Okay. Um, those are sick. Um, well, I don't know. What else would you would you say that? Uh, you would, I don't know, what, what shoes would you say that kind of like are tight like that besides Balenciaga's? Like, like, uh, hmm. it's a, the, you get what I'm saying? About the, are you talking about the, the, like the, the style? One? Mm-hmm. Are you talking about the knitted one? Yes, the knitted. Oh, oh, like, oh. Yeah. Oh no! I was oh, I was talking about the um that bulky one that bulky those ugly. Oh, I don't, I don't, I don't I like about, those. No, no yeah, are. the slick ones. Yeah, I just know I don't are. have enough money for it, so I'm not gonna ever wear. No, 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 no! <laughs> I, I totally got the wrong shoe. Oh, then yeah, no, those I ones we don't have Google on our hands. The bulky right. ones are those are dope. I brought those. Oh my god! Yeah, I don't even think I have to think too hard. You know what oh, I mean? Yeah. I thought we were talking about literally. No, those no, like the I don't know. Yeah, those ones. Those I like those because I see a lot. Like I see people wear those, and those do look dope. It was just uh, for me. I always looked at it as like I don't use, usually like stuff I can't afford. Uh-huh. And probably <laughs> yeah, yeah, those 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 are you know triple S. Yes, but I'm saying that I would rock those. Like those oh, yeah? like, those ones are dope. I, I don't see why you wouldn't. Those are sick. All right. You know, I, there was sick. a um, I'm a I'm a I'm a sit there because I want to just put it on the on the screen. But there's a uh, there was a post and it was saying like what shoe would you wear and it had that shoe and then another one. But it had an X-ray next to it of what your foot looks like inside the shoe. Yeah, <laughs> it's because it's like one of them is like your shoe, your foot is like this on the shoe, and then the, and then that one is like kind of like regular, but it's still kind of weird looking. This, this, where I, this is where I came in the game with Valencia. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The arenas, yeah. Uh, I would I would rock arenas like crazy. Oh, it's like actually it. this pair is what I have. Uh, what was the uh, what was the biggest? Uh, uh, what was the what was what's probably the most expensive shoe that you have in your collection right now? Cool. Ah, that's tough. 
Uh, no, nah, honestly, I'd say those new chain reactions. I, okay. I would say off the bat. Because the hype is part of like Supreme and stuff yeah. that don't really count. Yeah. But as far as like outright, like retail, I'd say those ones. Oh, okay. Um, dude, those are. Or sorry, what do you have? I have the. I don't even know the color way. It's what it's called, to be honest with you. It's uh, I forgot the actual name of it. So those ones, the, uh, the yellow, the, the yellow right there. Yeah. Dude, those are hard. I, it does have a colorway name, but I've never wanted to remember that. that. Yeah, I just saw those at Nordstrom's, and I was like, bro, do you guys have these? And the <laughs> lady went in the back and got them at South Coast. And just, See, North, North, I started looking at the, um, Nordstrom's, and then I started Nordstrom. noticing that the stuff was so pricey because I would always yeah, walk in at the shoe down. part. Like, I was walking into the shoe department, yeah, and I'm like, okay, it's expensive. Nice. Man. Yeah. Oh, what a kick. Okay, yeah, Chris, you couldn't pull these off, bro. No. Yeah, people look at me crazy Not when good. I rock them. I was going to rock them today, but... they taller? Yeah, oh, yeah they, they, they have that that's pump in them. That pump really yeah. does get... It feels honestly weird, because it feels like you're... Like your foot kind of goes forward when you're walking a lot. So kind of like, I don't like it too much because it, it ends up fucking up your whole feet. Like it just doesn't feel good. Oh, okay. They're just more for look if you want if you want that pop. You know, oh, if you, you, if you know that you're going to be in one spot. Yeah, for if you know oh, you're okay. going to head out to a spot, you, you got something to do. But I'm, not, I'm not trying to go quick. hang out with my friends or, you know, go pull up on a family night and those. <laughs> Yeah, you look so crazy going to the family barbecue. And those are those are stand on the couch shoes right there in the club. Those are stand on the couch in the clubs uh, shoes right there. Stand on the couch. Yeah, that's that's, that's a. Hey. And then, you, and then you're you're in there. You're like six eight now because it's so tall. Yeah, <laughs> There's just like shoes on yo, yeah, so I'm you know like what's up? Enough, so, yeah. Oh, see, there you go. Now you're the tallest one. But that's yeah. Um. No, yeah, that, so, like, with that, so, like, the designer spot, the, the designer aspect of it, like, we get, like, there's a lot of, um, you start to see a lot of them kind of come in. They're starting to all look the same, where they're just like, we're going to give you a big-ass sole, mm-hmm. and a big midsole, mm-hmm. and oh. then give you just a little bit of color that, because now they're starting to do, like, a lot of, uh, uh, a lot of multiple colors on one shoe, instead of just, like, one solid color. Yeah. It's like uh, a 90s style throwback, mesh. Yeah, and that's that for me, like, that seems like, is that better? Does that fit better in a, in a world? Like, because you, you rap, so that's the world you, the world that you live in is a lot of people are like, yeah, are we showing. Just found out Michael Dean raps, everyone. <laughs> we, just, <laughs> um, we just finally said it in the video, it took that long. <laughs> someone um, said it. Yeah, to count, have a countdown. So <laughs> yeah. I love it. See how um, someone says it. But the, um, you see, like, a lot of people go for that, like you said, peacock thing that is not, like, your style. And that's, is, is there something that you saw that was like, yo, there's, they're, they're super loud. I know for a fact on a regular basis, like you saw, like, I won't wear those, like, at a family barbecue or I won't yeah. wear those on a regular day. But there's something where it's like, yo, I, need, I might need to be the loudest one in here, the most flamboyant one in here. Is there anything that you've seen? Oh, yeah. Or that you even probably have, like, that you were like, yo, for sure, I know for a fact this is what I'm going to... Yeah, and that was the reason why I purchased my last purchase. Oh, okay, yeah. But, oh, but yeah, I mean, that was exactly that same vibe. I was there like, that. that's hard. I, I got to pull up in this. I was shooting a video at the time mm-hmm. for a strike, and I was like, you know what? Um, I was looking at those, and I was like, these are really sick. And I was like, that's what I want. Like, there I just was no-brainer. Oh, wow. I just... How do you feel about these? Yeah, I've always been a Christian Louboutin fan. Okay. Like, so those are fire. yeah. This is it. Like, because when you say, like, when you want to be that person, you want to be loud or whatever, mm-hmm. this is what I see. So I envision that with cop. Oh, yeah, yeah. Is that right? Oh, okay. I'm back to my day. So nice. What up, dude? Um, it's cameo coming through. What, uh, <clears throat> have you seen the, uh, the Don C, uh, the Don C Louis Vuitton that he, um, that he's been, uh, he's been, like, showing on his um, Instagram and stuff like that? Like, there, he has, like, I don't, I, I don't want to say rhinestones because they're not rhinestones because I know he's more, they're more expensive than that. <laughs> um, <laughs> I know they're more expensive than that, for sure. He's like a designer and a, like, Don C has, like, multiple titles within the sneaker world. Yeah. Like, it just depends on how you want to look at him. So he, 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 he's been like showing like a lot of his shoes lately on, uh, on, uh, his Instagram and a lot of pictures of him at the Louis Vuitton, like, that, that, your phone's never gonna load, bro. I'm on the wire. Oh, there it goes. As you said that. So he had, he, he posted oh, these on his, uh, um, that's a no go for me, dog. That's not? That's a no go for me. Oh, uh, cool. I, 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 so it's a, so it's, it's Virgil's shoe, mm. but a Donsey colorway? Yeah. 
It's a no-go for me, man. No? No. No? Yeah, yeah take yeah. the screenshot of that. You're not, you're you not, you're not. You need to show it to the camera so you yeah. know we're looking at Oh, no, yeah, I'm, I'm going to show you. You're not hitting red oh, carpet. I'm not. I'm not. On your way to get your Grammy. That's not the way. This is not you. That's not the way. That's not the one, yo. I'm we're all, I'm, what I want to start, I want to start because we have we have an idea with Anthony. I kind of want to do it with Michael Dean as well. Yeah. What's the idea, bro? I want to figure out. I want to start figuring out shoes when they as they come out. I want to find the most flamboyant designer or higher tier shoes, and I want to ask him, "Yo, is this something that you would rock?" And he and we have to give him a full layout of it, like, "Yo, this is what we thinking. You do this with this shirt." And these, not anything Wait, specific. Anthony, Anthony is a model? Mm. Well, well, Yo, the, Anthony would model the, the fit? I lost the... Hold on. Hold on. Now, you went, you went totally left now with that. Anthony would model the fit <laughs> that we would sell to Michael Dean. Like, yo, is this what you, is this, is this what you can rock? No. But, um, no, I'm saying, like, is... We, I want to find shoes that we can find that are, like, really... Um, that are just, like, designer, you know, shoes that... We, are peacockish in a sense. Like these little times are kind of peacockish because they have rainbow. I can't think of anything to be honest, bro. I'm not gonna lie. My designer knowledge is pretty, like, is pretty at the bottom. Well, yeah, but that's that's the thing because I don't, I have very bottom. So it's like we're gonna leave it to the the collector here to be able to give us the yeah, that's that's it right there. Or no, we can't do that. Well, bro, I'm not no designer. Oh no, we put that light, we already put that label on. Yeah. Everybody knows now. I just I don't even like. I'm not even like I would say biased on on what shoe I prefer over which one. Mm. Honestly, if we we're in a, a store, let's put it that way, they had both. And they're in front of me, like let's say the store had designer off white and all these other yeah. shoes, and then you have the Jordan, you know, Chucks. And let's put it that way: if the shoe it just has to be dope, man. Like, yeah, it's not with me. It's a no-brainer. Like I'm not really that picky with shoes. Mm. I don't. I'm not the guy that'll stuff my, you know, stuff my shoes and then just sh- like. Every day, like, yeah, it doesn't matter. I'll probably get a pair, I'll like it for a little bit, get a new pair, or like, you know, sometimes I feel like I'm wearing, like, today I'm, I'm rocking slides, you yeah. know, like, I've I'm being first, these first guess done. slides, by the way. Sure. First guess sure. slides. I mean, sure. like, yeah. I was thinking about wearing the chain reactions because I know I was coming to this, mm-hmm. and I know you guys revolve around shoes, yeah, like, your knowledge game's heavy, but I was like, you know what, this is the vibe I have with this fit, <laughs> and you know, shout out to Sky Gum for the fit. Oh, yeah, but, shout out Sky Gum, yeah. 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 Hey, I need those vans. Hey, hey, hey. I know y'all hear me. I need I need I need those. They ain't hearing you, bro. They, they, not not in this moment. Okay. Um, but they will. No, I hit them I hit them up. I was like, yo, save me a size ten and a half. I don't think they I don't think they actually did, but hey, I need those. Those are limited right now. Yeah. He was telling those me. Those look dope as shit. Yeah. Those are the, you, know, about. you know what doesn't look dope as shit? What? These fucking shoes right here. Oh like Air Max. <laughs> what are you thinking? What are you thinking? What do you think this brand is right here? Those are probably easiest. You think it's mm, the easy? Hey, thank you. The key. slander, I love it. Key. It's an off white. It's an off white original. But you know, you know, off white still brand. You know, don't forget, it's still, it's, it's still him. Oh well, hey, 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 don't rattle the cage. Um, the the hype beast don't know that. Dude. Oh, they hey. don't know. No, that. no, no. They it's a know. style game. How about, dare you? They don't know about Pyrex. How how, how dare they you? They don't remember that. No, no, no. They definitely oh, don't. Damn, they they don't definitely don't. This generation better about that. Oh, <laughs> uh, they! I hope they do because that was, that was the, the that was like the trash, um, like the the, the play around phase yeah. before off white. The, the people people aren't ready for that conversation. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, what, so what's your um, what's your thoughts on those? What do that, you think? That's, yeah. What do you mean? This is like a poor man's chain reaction. Uh, nah, think poor about man. it, bro. Those are not like I wouldn't even bring those in the convo like this. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. You what? went you I'm went and picked that. No, I didn't pick it out. I just, it's, like, it's just something that came out. That article you know, that came up, you know, twenty twenty okay. releasing off white. They're releasing that. Yeah, this is the- <laughs> stop. <laughs> yeah. He thought we were just throwing out somebody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah, that's out. Yeah, that's, are, that's coming out. I thought those were the came no, out. That's out. No, that's coming out. Look, Bro, we have know. a chance to tell them before they take that out. No, nah, dude, they're they're mass producers. Aren't they? they got all the colorways already. You know. Yeah. Let them let know. Let them let let. Oh, they when they see it, they're gonna know what I'm talking about. It just go tag off hey, like yo. Bro. This was just the what? My what is um what is a brand that you um uh, that you would want to to do like business with? So you say like you have all these um yeah. these partnerships like that. What is something that you would be like, yo, bring me in? Yeah, I, I'm, I got y'all. I'm, I'm gonna get y'all to the next level. Let, let's. Uh, no, and be, cock, be as cocky. So, are you talking about brands I want to get to the next level? Or brands no, so there. There's the, all the brands are like, yo, yeah. Michael Dean, we need you to come in and help us. 
What's, nah, what's brand would you be like, you know what? You let me come in. Let me come in. Man, I've been teaming every time. What do you mean? Mm. Yeah. Okay. They might just pick you up for the... For the yeah, I definitely would do... I would, I, if, we had, if I had a chance to choose my partnership with somebody in the future, I would, I would be teaming every time. That's okay. Yeah. What is... um With, with Louis Vuitton, because they have... You see them taking strides of like... Bringing on all these different uh, designers on and, mm -hmm. and like kind of they're, they're, different, they're yeah they're really trying like and they're bringing this totally different mindsets and especially now they're starting to talk to a lot of people that are in the street where um, well I mean they're not really talking to the street they brought the street yeah to well them. yeah so yeah they picked up and they picked up Virgil like yeah exactly. and so like for stuff yeah. like that like yeah. what um you start you start seeing brands that do that because of the fact of how influential the sneaker brand is and like sneaker culture is. Yeah. What is something that you you see that you're like, if you I, if you guys could change one thing, like one thing that you see designers and any sense just you Ooh. need to change that. Stop doing that. I know what I would say. All right, for me, I would say the bulk of this. The bulky design, okay. of the shoes. like the bulky movement. Is yeah, over the with? bulky movement. I like that's a good way to put it. That shoe? I don't, I don't really like that. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? There's very few like those Balenciagas. Those, those are like I'd rock those because of the fact that that's what's in and that's everyone yeah. wants to fucking. I'm my bad. No, no, you're good. We're no. like, yeah, every, we're, we're adults here. All right, everyone wants to like you know they just want to fit it with the trends and if you're gonna fit it with the trends you gotta you know throw your swag with it. Yeah, you're not just gonna rock it because it's trending. That's how you look like a hype beast. You yeah. know what I mean? Like you don't know how to rock it. You just just don't touch it. Sure. But like what I'm saying is like if they, if I had a choice to change that, I would say stop going in that direction. Everyone wants slim fit anyway. Everyone wants fitness. They don't want that. Like you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> yeah. True. Very they, true. It's not. They're not trying to have you know like moon rocks on your feet when you're walking. You know like. Yeah. I wish I wish you would I wish you were already working with Louis Vuitton so if they can <laughs> set the trend so that the people would be like oh well Louis Vuitton's not doing it yeah. so we got we got we uh, that'd be dope hey low key though yeah. like if you did have a chance and that was a realistic thing like right now the second that'd be dope if you had to say in that oh speaking Vuitton, to we'll existence <clears throat> speaking to existence I, that, I okay. think uh, I think uh, there's a trend in uh, high end fashion that is that still goes on. Mm -hmm. And they do a lot of like, um, I don't know how I would word it, but a lot of like their shows and some of their items they get they get um, under the spotlight for being racist. Yeah, uh, Gucci does it a lot. Um, uh, dude, I just I can't remember the brand, but they literally have like um, a piece off of their sweater that looks like a like a noose. Yeah, yeah, you know, and like yeah. it, it, it's a. It's uh oh it's still I know what constantly. you're talking about. It's still uh, happening. Do you have a picture of that? Yeah, I could probably pull it up, dude. No, yeah, I know what you're talking about because I think they have. That's when they have brought in. Uh, who was like, it? And uh, it's happening like no, yeah, it's happening one, way one, too one, much. Like Burberry, Diddy, Prada. Uh, Bro, Gucci. these things aren't accidents. They just get a rise. And yeah, it, it's it's uh, publicity. Yeah. I, mean, I hope you guys know. Like, yeah. It's, oh yeah, of course. They're just trying to get that attention, regardless good or bad attention. They look at it as attention. Oh yeah, they, there was a brand so this, this year, dude. 2019, and that, uh, but that's ugly, though, bro. Like yeah. that's why it's like for H and M. For H and M, they closed down a uh, couple stores, bro. Really? Yeah. yeah. Special sure. guest Omar Hurtado. <laughs> that's my. Are that's my brother. Oh no, yeah, come on. Come on, say hi. Oh, no, no. that's good. That's my brother. Oh, we're still. We're yeah, still, we're still, we're still, we're still, oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I was. Hey. I was just. That's my. Uh, that's my day one. So he. This guy's going everywhere. Michael Day. That's my brother. No, yeah, because even like you see like at uh, New York Fashion Week this uh, this past week, uh, I can't remember. I can't remember the brand. I, I actually tweeted him because it was terrible. Yeah. He was he was trying to to bring awareness to school shootings and mass shootings like that, mm -hmm. and did a line where he took all the saw all the schools that were in the mass shootings like had hoodies. Oh yeah, yeah. was that that was oh, Gucci, yeah. right? I think I, yeah, I saw that one. Yeah, yeah that, that one was Gucci. Yeah. yeah. Um, that wasn't an accident, bro. People yeah. don't make accidents. But they, um, he yeah. took all the schools, all the schools that had mass shootings yeah. like that, and basically made them uh, had like bullet holes in them and stuff like that, and had that for a fashion line. So he took all the schools that had mass shootings on them and uh, had models walking around, walking down the, um, the <laughs> runway with the hoodies, and they had like bullet holes in them and like burns and stuff like that to mimic what happened at those at those schools. And I was like. Mm -hmm. I, I lost my mind because that's crazy. Like it's what was the point of that classroom? Right? So, so he was doing so his his he had literally on because I looked up on his um, on his page like that and I looked up the story and 
he had put a card, he had gave everybody a card before the fashion show. And it was saying, bring enlightenment, saying, you know, hey, um, bring in a, basically in a sense, bring in awareness to gun violence and all that stuff. Mm-hmm. And get it, to- totally get it. I, yeah. I get, if you're going to bring awareness to gun violence like that, because yes, there are kids dying and all that stuff, well, we're not going to make this a political, you know, podcast, but he he has the card and then Too late. runs them down the out uh, runs them down the runway with that. I lost it because of the fact that I was like, why you shouldn't need to portray it in that way? You, like yeah, there's so that. many ways. Like, I get what you're yeah, saying. Yeah, there's so yeah, many that's... ways you could do it that don't involve that. Yeah, and then you have the trauma of that and it was like I feel that. Yeah, you know what? And so it's like what where and that's why I asked that question at first. Like what what brand you want to go into and take it to the next level because. You see these brands after the fact bring in people at the end of the day and say, "Bring us, give us, show us what it's like to be in twenty nineteen." And it's like, how is that possible when you guys are making money? I, I can't even fathom and be like, "But we can't look on Twitter for five seconds and be like, maybe we shouldn't do this one. <laughs> like, maybe we should skip out on on this design for this this fashion." Uh, I think, yeah, I don't know. I don't think that's the. I don't. I think you're right, yeah. but in a sense, like I don't think that's what they really stick to their little blueprints that they make. They these designers believe in themselves just mm-hmm. as like artists and just like anyone yeah. else that creates. Um, so they believe what they're gonna do is gonna change something, or what they're gonna do is gonna set a trend. And you gotta realize, like coming from our perspective, we're the consumer, so we're like, dude, they should not make that shoe. You know what I mean? Yeah. Or that or that shirt is just not the wave. But you're thinking about this designer in whatever country, city, or state. Mm-hmm. And they're thinking, like, I, I think this is it. Like, this is the, my idea. Like, just like Kanye. I mean, he's a genius for a reason. Like, he honestly, no. Oh, like, Kanye. all, all credit due. Like, yeah. He, he, he's a genius. And, yeah. And he uh, he does create. And he he ha- he did bring, uh, I like Yeezys. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, I didn't think that at first. But, like, it's a, you look at him and you start realizing, dude, I like that. It's you company, know? Yo. Yeah. And he it's created, that was too. his vision. You know? That yeah. was, in other words, like. I can see where they're coming from, and they just believe in themselves. Everyone has a different thing, but us as a consumer, I get it. Yeah. Why can't the the marketers, the CFOs, and the people that handle that look into things that are going to probably affect like the seconds. company? Exactly. Because well, even because even like you can even say in your in your line of work, like when you create music, you're not going to like let's go back let's go back some years when the um, you ain't even know record came out and the remix when Rick Ross came out. And he has said that line that, you know, he, he was basically saying he slipped a day with a drug in the girl's drink. She didn't know. To yeah. like, to script. like, you know, and that caused a, you know, uproar and, you know, women because of the fact that, like, you're glorifying. I honestly, I don't remember that, to be honest. Oh, you don't remember? I, don't I mean, remember. I do, but I don't remember it being that big. Oh, no, it was, it was a, it, it died out fast. Oh, yeah. Okay. Because, of, because at the same time, Rick Ross... And this is in every field. Rick Ross is still at the top of his game. So you can outlive something like that if yeah. you make good music. Yeah. Um and you're in your field, you see like you you make you have you ever seen like when you were like the lemon pepper bro, it's not the music, it's the lemon pepper. <laughs> it was the wing stuff that that got everybody like, Oh, okay, never mind. Uh, I yeah. I'm sorry. Um I'm but is there like is there a sense of like when you see uh when you see people like when you like you're in the studio and you're creating, yeah. is there ever a point where you're you were writing something and then you're like you stop and like wait hold on yeah maybe I should no I'm not gonna even say this line because it's it's maybe too or like see, do you ever realize it like after you know maybe you play it back oh and, yeah uh, that's well it. no I usually um, this is what ha- when I create I, I get what you guys say like I have this thought process where I've wrote, written something you know and midway through I'll look back at the course and be like well what can I change to make this little bit more catchier like. Uh, and I'll start looking at the wordplay yeah. and how I did it. Yeah, I'll okay. break, I break things down a lot. Okay. Um, and that's really, you know, how I create, too. Um, G, how are you, man? Yeah. Yeah. in the building. Hey, what up, what up? But, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, we always go through that. I always double check, but before I record, you know, when I go to the studio, I know my thoughts. Okay. Yeah, I know what I've written. Like, so because ready. I write to, like, the beat, so I'm... You know, once I get the material like that I have in my head that I feel like, it'll just go word for word, bar for bar, and you start filling it out. But you'll know when to take things. Yeah. You'll know when it's not the way to go because you're just like saying too much or too okay. much is going on. You know what I mean? Like, okay. Oh yeah, and, that, and that's for me. Like that's really, I always, I always wonder that because like you see these lines come out, you're like, <laughs> all right, didn't yeah, you know, not. I, I just my bad. But but I I finished skimming through the article, so the article calls out six different. Uh, brands, I guess. Okay. 
that went through this in, oh, like, yeah. in like a two month span. Yeah, it was, so really, it was a very February story. of this year, and there they include Zara, H uh, and M, Prada, Gucci, yep. Burberry, and Burberry was what and I was Katy Perry collection. Yeah. Burberry is what I was thinking because I, they had brought in, uh, I believe it was, uh, I don't want to, I do not want to say Spike Lee, but I think it was somebody in the. Um, I, don't, I don't, I don't think Spike Lee. I don't, was, I, I don't know why Spike Lee's popping in my head, but I, 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 but I think it was, some, it was somebody in like that was. Considered a, a black uh, a black icon in a sense, and brought them on as the board to be able to, in a sense, give them a uh, in, a, in a sense give them the clarity to see their error and be like, hey, next time pass their he and he's like he helps now he's helping decisions. yeah he's like on board to help them create now and it's yeah, like it's, all right it's whatever but I feel lied to <laughs> oh yeah it's, it's it was stupid it was like. Because that happened with Barbary, and then yeah. literally the next day they're like, "Oh yeah, we brought on such and such onto yeah. our creative team," and it's like, uh, it's "For what? Yeah. Like, it's already done. Like, yeah, it doesn't matter already, anymore." Yeah. And the name that they have brought on was specifically to get it's usually to to though. pander to the the call like, "Oh the well, they have. brought on such and such." Yeah. Like, and like it'll be just like, "Oh, that, that Louis Vuitton brought on Michael Dean." <laughs> oh, we're 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 safe now, and it's like. You, I know you will be like, no, like, yeah. you guys did it already. I like, see what you're talking about. Yeah. It's, it's yeah. stupid. It's trying to stupid. correct the wrong when they knew where they were going. With exactly. That. They're exactly. Just trying to get business when it's bad. Dude. Yeah. Just, man, that's that's crazy. Um, but on to the next thing. Um, I would say so, bro. you do you do music. Um, so hey, of course, I'm, music I'm, and secret culture kind of go hand in hand. Yeah. Um, a lot of people. Are very, like we were talking about earlier, uh, Travis Scott and uh, his Air Force Ones, but like Travis Scott always de- debuts something dope on stage. Oh, yeah. yeah, usually, most of the time, he's always wearing something that people are like, you know, Uh, I don't think so, yo. You don't think so? I don't think so. You don't think Travis Scott would be dropping some, some fire so. on stage? I mean, yeah, not, I wouldn't use the word debut. Well, no, yeah. I, I, I don't want to say, yeah. I don't want to say debut, yeah. but the, the there's always rumors of shoes coming out, and usually, he'll hop out with either. The why well, the friends and family version of their oh, no. shoes. Well, that's what, but that's what I'm saying. Like we, but we never get to like think about like uh the sneaker news uh thing that happened with LeBron 17s and them coming out too soon with what it looked like mm-hmm. and it being wrong. Mm-hmm. I'm saying in general of like it's always rumored of like oh they're working on this, but we've never seen the fish what it officially looked like. And then Travis Scott has a concert or he's out somewhere. And it's like oh sh- did you see Travis Scott's shoe? Like oh he. What, where's that design at? And it's like, oh, it's in the works. It just hasn't been announced yet. You just, okay. you know, popped out with it. Um, why, when you go out on performance like that, is there ever, like, is there ever, when you think about, like, yo, I need to step out on the on stage with this, is there ever a shoe that you're like, if I can, if I can get them, like, like how you partnership wise, yeah. what is the one shoe when you're like, yo, if I, if I do my tour, I need, I need my PE versions uh, uh, of, I feel you. I'd, get those, I'd be getting like some knitted uh, Balenciagas with like MD on them, some like special edition shit. <laughs> okay. I literally would rock like every color of those on tour with a tracksuit. Like, okay. Never sweat. That would be my thing. Okay. That's, yeah. that, that, that's, so, a, that's a safe bet. No, that, that's what that's I like. Util- that'd be utility, swag, bro. Utility, like, I like tracksuits. I like yeah. you know, things that peacock like that, you know, mm. but like in a sense, like, just like looks like you're just dripping, you know, like, mm-hmm. like knitted Balenciagas every colorway. On a tour, that's hard. Yo, I'm, I'm, what, what the fuck is his name of the shoe? I, I, I want to know. Well, oh, the Balenciaga yeah. one? Oh, yeah. yeah. No, yeah. Balenciaga, you heard it here first. Michael Dean, you know, when he's out performing, he needs, he needs the, the MD on him. Get him right. Uh, that'd be tight, though. Yeah, no, Hey, Regardless if they put it on for me, I don't think <laughs> they, they screen put it on right before uh, the show and shit. Uh, oh, uh, he pressed, bro. Oh, this oh, the, he pressed. Oh. The, Excuse me. Uh, yeah, you know, you know, I'm, you know, I'm the the one that. Oh yeah, give me, give me, the, know, give me the, the, give me the politically correct uh, way. To why say do it? they they call it the speed sock stretch knit? I, why does she not have a that. name? That's why I call it Balenciaga. <laughs> yeah, I'm a supporter, bro. But I don't really call shoes by their names anyway. I'm not that guy. You know what I mean? Like, oh yeah. I'm just like not. I guess they just call them speed socks. But yeah, that seems right. Speed socks. Yeah, I guess. No, we're talking about this shoe, right? Yeah. That that seems like, that seems right because I I've, I've never heard like anything. I thought, I, I thought I had a better name. <laughs> no, they, they they all they need to do is put Lance Young on the side, which they did, and be like, "Yo, seven. We yeah, that's, that's we, the most like, 
like fuck, dude. But it's 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 lazy. It, yeah, it's it's like it's like like you were saying, it's lazy. Like you you know that by a trend, we're gonna do bulky sketch of shape up style shoes. Hey, uh, and my drop. thing's in about two piece you after this is over. You talking about a shoe right now? No, I'm, I'm, what right. I'm saying, I'm saying he's cut cut the camera at real quick. Cut, <laughs> hey, cut the cut, camera. Cut, cut the t- Am I wrong though? Am I am I wrong for saying that brands are? I don't think that's that style is lazy. I don't think that style was lazy. I mean, oh, no. in reality, they really thought about that because, like, it, it's like it doesn't even look simple. It's almost like like futuristic, modernish. Like, it has that like stretch on it. You know, like mm. where it just looks like I don't know. I think it looks different. Like, would you really wear shoes with no? You would just think about slipping on your shoes with no, like, and you could rock those hard, you know, with a dope outfit. Like, I don't know. And being that type of prestige, you get what I'm trying to say? Like, yeah. It, it's just different. Like, I don't think I would buy a shoe without laces. I'm like, what is that? And I'm putting <laughs> these on my feet. Like, what yeah. is, You get what I'm saying? Like, yeah. the fact that that's dope enough for them to come out with, and now people are like, yeah, these are actually sick, and you're rocking them. And they're sick. I mean, you know what I mean? Like, that's that's something I really think is, is thought out. I don't know. Like, How many people do you think actually rock those shoes without socks on? Too many. Oh, that's disgusting, bro. Dude, I, I, I'm, I, hey, I'm that was my know. first thought when I started seeing these pop out. I'm not fucking with anybody that's rocking those all day without socks. Do you like this one? Those yeah. are hard. The one with the written all over it? Yeah, those are hard. I mean, and honestly, the designer route, the, I don't think it's lazy. I know you're talking about like, yeah. randomly throwing like words on something. Yeah. I think that's actually trendy. That's like something they don't ever want to do. They don't ever want to like ruin their product like they, their name they on think that like throwing like a name on everywhere or something mm-hmm. or saying this is a fake or yeah. you know i yeah. think that's pretty yeah. hard you know because you just bought that's like 1400 dollars sweater you just rock you know and it's yeah. just fake yeah and you know what i mean that's like pretty gangster i don't know I, well and uh, well because i see it like i see a lot with like and i think my my feeling on on it is because i see the way like senior culture and like even fashion trends mm-hmm. where it's like off-white Mm-hmm. has a massive like uproar and especially yeah. high beast world and so then now every brand that wants to sell something even if they don't have that partnership with off-white they're like off-white on the side or something to play off of the off-white design of like just having that random in quotations off-white on it yeah. and then you have the people go and save for it and sell out and then you're getting like Yo, this is actually trash like why why did i why did i get this and then, and then that becomes the easy way of. Are you saying? Of, are you saying that's what you think when you get them? Oh yeah. Well, See, I, I, I would, I, I would, because I'm not, yeah, I'm not a fan of all white though. In the, in the I first get it. Place, yeah. but I can hear it when you're trying to. Yeah, 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 yeah. It already sounds like you're just like nah, nah. Off. But I'm saying like if you're looking at it from a. Like, like there's a room full of ten of us, right? There's a room full of ten of us, and you bring out that same off white. I guarantee you, like. Seven or six out of ten. Realistically, we're gonna say that's actually pretty dope. Just oh, because of the placement, like you just really put off white in the corner of the shoe like that, mm. and just right there. And mm. then you got these yellow tape looking laces that, yeah. coming from culture perspective, that's actually pretty hard on a designer shoe. You get what I'm saying? Like, yeah. it, and that's kind of cool throwing that mesh of urban in there, and it's a designer shoe coming from like Italy or this time and there. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's for perspective though. I can tell that you are more like not. Nah, yeah, I'm, I'm jaded. I'm, I'm, yeah. I can say I can say that with uh, what you're, the piece. Like I'm, I'm a jaded person, especially when it comes to to the culture and stuff. And both and on both sides, because of the fact that I see, like we're talking about, brands will go too far mm-hmm. and yeah. not think about it. But and then true. you have brands that are like, what's the ease where I can make some money real fast? Mm-hmm. And it's like, oh, I'll, you know, I'll just go off or or. Like the you know memes with the zip tie on everything, it, but it's just a bunch of words. Like it's just words and placement. It's yeah, no real design if you think about it. Like it's just. But I have, like the shoes, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, the yeah. Shoes the are shoes totally are, designed differently. Shoes, shoes, yeah, those, exactly. Like, yeah. like the the off white chucks I was just talking about over there. You guys have mm. those? Are those? I don't think anyone's designed those. You know what I'm trying mm. to say? Like, I don't know. It's more than just words. But like I said, you guys are more geared towards your own like fashion style and that's respectable but like like you know in general like i do see a lot of designer shoes that are just trash i get that mm-hmm. but every brand has that mm-hmm. every brand has just like every trash. label doesn't have a superstar there's always going to be people on there you shouldn't you know, never <laughs> but let's just let's just go back to shoes <laughs> but at, you yeah, know yeah. with every company you're going to have those things that are not yeah. not hidden bro but mm-hmm. you also got stuff that are like the solid those are like time pieces yeah. you know like that's my perspective. What is um, 
um, with the off white, since we're on off white, what is one of the off white uh, in the shoe, like you know, air forces and the pressos, all that stuff? What is one of the best off whites that you've seen so far? Oh, oh, the, the ones I was just talking about, those the chucks. chucks. Yeah, yeah, I almost got those one. at one point. Yes, because I almost got the story, is I almost got the, I didn't even know the brand. This is what I'm talking yeah. about. I don't really go for things by, based off a name. Yeah. I learned about those through that shoe. Mm-hmm. And then I'm like looking at the backing, it's like a see through almost. Like, yeah. It's like, and they're like literally crystal clear white. And yeah. you can keep them clean if you yeah. got to rock them. And those look like they will forever look fresh. Like yeah. You just bought them. And how they have that tag placement. I don't know, man. I just thought that was pretty like. Everyone wears tags on their clothes most. So while I was growing up from the 90s to the yeah. early 2000s, you were rocking tags most yeah, of the time. You, had the you, wanted, you just got a new, yeah. you just got a new hoodie. It's like this, that, and the, you know, the other looking, you know, jumpsuit. Yeah. You just got, you're rocking the tags a little bit. You know yeah. what I mean? And I think the way they did that and implemented it, yeah, the times were a little bit outdated, but it's kind of cool they brought that with that and now it looks futuristic. And, yeah. Uh, Different. I, I will say the Chuck. That should put me on to those. So. Yeah, that would, I, 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 I saw. I, I like the Chuck because I wasn't like a huge fan. Because I think the first off I saw um, that I actually paying attention to, I believe, and I might be wrong on this, is was the uh, was the one, the Air Jordan one, the Chicago. Yeah. Okay. I didn't uh, like it. I didn't like it from Chuck. Like, I, was, like it? I was. I wasn't a fan. Because at first I thought it was a. Um, and I always go back to. This. I always thought. When I see stuff too fast, that's my always my issue. I see things too fast that don't get a chance to look at. I thought that they were a custom and they were meant to look like they were, you know, um, stitched onto. Like they somebody took pieces. Like of course that's how it looked like deconstructed. Yeah. Okay. And so I thought I was like I wasn't a fan because you know I'm not a one fan from jump. But I saw it and I was like I'm not I'm okay because okay. I didn't see that the pictures were going to look any better than what I had saw. So I was like okay, probably not going to happen. Well, it's probably not going to ever. Happen that you're gonna own it either because they're wow. like at they're, wow. Wow. <laughs> they're like at two thousand five hundred. Are you saying I can't get two thousand five hundred? I'm, I'm just saying that you're not gonna spend. Yo, sign me, sign me to a deal. I'm about to, I'm about to get. You, hey, this, this not, hey, hey, sign me to a deal. I'm trying, I'm trying to let I'm these bars spending, off. I'm not spending that much on shoes. I'm gonna get these bars off. You can drop this track Yeah, exactly. Oh, oh <laughs> off white district. Hey man, I'm getting. We can episode two is gonna be. Uh, <laughs> Oh, my diss track would be who, terrible. Who filmed the better diss track between Chris and I? Watch what, 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 I want to see that. What would, your, what would your diss track be? Like, oh, what, 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 it, what would your diss track you, be? Because well, well, mine's is off. My, my, mine's would be off white. I'm going diss track off white for sure. Oh, okay. You you it's not, not to anybody automatic, in particular. Just I'm not too sure. Or, I'm not too sure if I ever have like yeah, have that in me. Yeah, you was yeah, say, hey, hey, say, hey, say, Chris, say that's why I had a partnership. I love that. Right I love that. I love, hey, no, I love. Yeah. I, love I see. Hey, no, I get I'm just you. Yeah. In I don't think I'd ever come out with this track. So like, it's just irrelevant. Like, yeah, if you, if people really got problems with anybody, or you got problems with a like, company and or a brand, like, just you should have made up, make bro. them irrelevant. You know, make them irrelevant with what you like. You know what I mean? Put something else in that lane. I did, I did, I did write a review for uh, Instagram. I sent them like a little, uh, you know, they have like a little help tag. Like, oh, let us know how we're doing. And I sent them a, a two-page paragraph of why I hate the fact that they don't have everything in, uh, in order. Well, they looked at, they got that email. And and, to the oh, back. yeah. It's, it's, it's been know, like a month and a half. No that, really I, I, I didn't even get a thank you for your review. No, you they didn't. Thanks for submitting. Hey, Chris, review. it's just it's just a luck. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, but yeah, no, the off white, uh, the Chucks were. I really like those. Surprisingly, because I'm not a, I'm like, I don't, I've never yeah, worn a Chuck's like, before. I'm not even a big Chuck. Huh? the second one? Uh, which, uh, is I like it, the, low the first one, one has the, um, the first one has clear, it's all clear one. Yeah, and it has the, second the, one has the, the, the red and, I mean, the white and red checker, I mean, white and black checker. No, no, the, um, the, the first, first one, yeah. I, I, I was like, hey, hold on. <laughs> I might think, have to uh, my soup dog on. Huh? I think the Chicago is the, the automatic one. The one that, that stood out to me the most. Mm-hmm. Uh, but my favorite one, other than that, is probably the first Presto. Okay. The first Presto. That was... Uh, the white and black ones? Yeah. <clears throat> oh, okay. Yeah, dude, that one was... Good. Yeah. Green Ace is on there. Those off-white green laces. Because it comes with orange laces and green yeah. laces. Yeah. And then, then the second one came out with the blue laces, right? The, low, the all black ones? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. No, yeah. That, that's... <laughs> Off white just coming soon. Just wow, wow. dude. I, I'm, I'm keeping not it. featuring me and not associated with unlaced. 
<laughs> what are you guys it's gonna talking? be signed to Unlaced Records. Cause he's talking about this diss track, bro. Hey, I thought it's... you guys were still talking about that. I looked up for don't, a second. I was like, don't, wait, what? I'm not doing this diss track. Right, so are you guys gonna be like, why don't you guys just have like a little battle right now? Mm. Say I'm some bars. Say something. I'm not a rapper. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I'm. Can I? Could I give you a premise and oh, you nope. rap for me nope. and battle? Okay. Why me? Why are we battling you, me, dog? You're I mean, the, the one that watches battle oh, rap videos. I do, and I'm. I still am amazed sh- that people can battle rap because I, I can't think of this as a big bro. That Chris waste. Uh, he doesn't. Yeah. Chris doesn't waste time, but apparently now he does waste time watching battle rap videos. Yo, yeah, he's yeah, not yeah, picking yeah. up any you don't, of waste, you don't waste time. You don't. You he don't said, waste time. You don't. I'm he said, said smack. Yeah, get Jeff up, White, Jerry West on the main stage, huh? What happened? I said, Sorry. if you're not picking up any of the skill sets, then you're wasting your time. Oh, Why would no, I pick up any of the skill sets? Because you, because you. I listen to a lot of music, but I'm still not. I'm still not. I listen to a lot of music. I'm not hopping to the studio. It's not happening. He's getting you with literature now. Yeah, there it is. Yo, give me, give me on the interval. Well, give me on an interlude. I'll give you. I'll give you a good. I'll give you a mm-hmm. good interlude concept. I'm not, but don't put me on a, on a guy. Alright, right, show us what your interlude would be like. Okay, I got y'all. Sure. I got y'all. I got y'all. Y'all ready? Yeah. Y'all, y'all Hit ready? It. Hit it. Okay. I'm here, right? Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome. We're here. My Jean's album. Yeah. 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 If you listen to this, you can listen to fire. Because then, because I'm gonna be in the middle somewhere, so they've already listened to all the <laughs> tracks. So they've already, they're already like, "Yo, what's the next one?" And I'll be like, "Continue, you're, you're coming. continue you're waiting." Coming. Yeah, we'll put After, that somewhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah somewhere. Yeah, see, hey, trash. hey <laughs> I'm on there. See, you see me out here, hey, Anthony. You're not making it. I'm out here. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out here. You're not, you're, you're not, you're not making it, dude. <laughs> um, so let's let I want to do this. I want to do some. I want to do some because uh, Gabe has on something. I want to run down some shoes. Okay. Yeah, I want to yeah. run down some shoes. Yeah. And we're gonna because we 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 picked these we picked these we picked these shoes out. Oh yeah, you told me. And we want you to we want to run down them and we want you to give your opinion on uh, opinion. And so while we wait for him to get his face recognition, hey, yo, that's why you get an iPad, bro. What I know, man, but I used it. Let him know. Like, let him know. Let him know. Used it for like he's still he's him. still trying to get in. Yeah, you gotta start typing in the password now. Bro. Um, <laughs> what about looking at? Oh my gosh. He's so like, he's like this thing I recognize. Yeah, it's like, like, like come he's on. Like, he's like, yeah, hey. it's stupid, bro. That's honestly, I don't even know, man. Oh my god! It's your fault for getting it. What's that window? Yeah, it is. It is my fault for getting it. But I was trying to go out the, out, out the box, bro. I was trying to learn how to design. And this is oh, I feel that. He's trying, to be, yeah. but he's trying to be out the box. But yeah, look, I was, I was ready to learn how to time. design. That was a long time. <laughs> he really downloaded all the programs. Uh, yeah, I got him. And I, and I literally, I spent like the first weekend I had this thing. You know what I do? I go on YouTube. Yeah, I was on YouTube. And I spent like two or three hours trying to learn. And I gave up. Like, nope. I'm done with it. Um, while Gabe was, oh, you have Yeah, yeah we're oh, okay. Start let's let's start. Let's start. Let's start. Okay. Let's start so, the Kyrie, you know, he those are hard. He, dro- wow. he dropped his uh, he dropped his fun Rob collab earlier this year, um, a couple months ago, a month ago actually. Yeah, um, and now he just came out with another design for SpongeBob's house. Those are hard. Yeah. 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 I'd have those in the collection. What? Uh, give give us a give us a mock up fit for that. Oh man, mock up fit. Give us some mock up fit. Probably some black joggers. Okay, I'm probably like a it's like a, a simple white or black t-shirt. No, okay. Okay. Something simple. Yeah, yeah, I like that. Okay. okay. What else we got? Give, give like. us the next one. Oh, that's just uh, that's the room, the rumor mill right there. Rumors the of off white rumor mill, off white fives. I see that. Yeah, yeah. that would be sick. Yeah, if yeah, they give me some fives, every viewer on here owes me ten dollars. Just so I can pay for the shoes on the resale market, bro. Wait, the viewers are? Do we? Do, do I owe you ten? Bro? You? Yeah, you owe me ten. Just cause you owe me ten. But what if I don't? What if I don't want to see you wear those? You don't gotta see me wear them, dog. So uh, can I not pay you out of spite of like, hey, I don't <laughs> no. want you with it? You guys bro. are comedy. Though. I'm. I'm just saying. I'm. Just, I'm just putting that out there. Yeah, look. So let's go some basketball. Right? There we go. James Harden. On, on nah. the court, let's talk, let's talk basketball. Pink lemonade. Pew, 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 pew. We just found out Michael Dean also plays basketball. Yeah, you yeah, know, we, we got to get, get you. It this long. We got to get you. We got to get you. We got to get you. Your, uh, your core fits. Hey, just, just to let you guys know, 
I'm so recording that. I'm going to keep pointing that yeah, out over here. Yeah. yeah. I should have said that at the beginning. Yeah. Uh, but check this out. Uh, real talk, though, I do play basketball. I never played on, like, a basketball team. But uh, I've always loved basketball. I've, you know, been decent at yeah. it. I know my stuff. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, more importantly, I play basketball. <laughs> who, who, who are you trying to get big, uh, buckets up to? Like, who's somebody that, like, right now playing, like, yo, I'll bust your ass on the court right now. Wow. LeBron. Oh, wow. Hey, LeBron. Hey. LeBron, LeBron just dropped down hey. to the third best player in the league, bro. Hey, hey, hey LeBron. <laughs> Lazy. Looking real lazy. old walking to that media yeah, day. Real old that year 18. Michael G said, he, he, he said oh, reverse yeah. leg. He going to give him to Steve Nash out there. I'm going to dunk for free. <laughs> so these are the best people in my life. He said I'm dunking for the free throw line up. Oh, Chris, my God. I don't God. know how much you like these, though, bro. You oh, know, I love those. I hey, know. people know. Yeah. Yo, did, did Jane? <laughs> Wait, what? You look like a pink lemonade. Yeah. I look like. Yeah. <laughs> what gives it? What gives it? Oh, wait, hold I could see you. You like that for fruity though. You know oh, what I mean? Oh wow! Damn. Damn. The pink lemonade. You know Got him. I just want. I just want to. Yo, those record, are hard. Let the record show that Michael Dean pointed out Chris Addison as the fruity one. What the? Uh, <laughs> I, 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 it's all jokes. I love it. <laughs> 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 Well, I like, I like, I like how my dude was like, yeah, because he said he was like, yeah. Oh, he was like, damn, I did say no, that. We cool, we cool. That's funny. No, that's funny. No, I'm a fan. I'm a fan of those. I always love those. Yeah, I like the, I like the model now. I'm starting to like yeah. it. I guess we'll come back to this yeah, right. and we talk about it off camera. Yeah. But we got another Travis Scott. Travis Scott Air Force One? Yeah. No? No. Uh, no. This is uh, reportedly the dude wa- was offered 100K for the sample. Said no. He said he wanted 200K. And then uh, in that conversation, I don't know if it was someone who knew Travis Scott or someone just being a snitch, mm. but they took a screenshot of their conversation of talking to the kid and they sent it to Travis Scott saying this guy wants 200K to, to shoot it. <laughs> Is that a bad thing? Yeah, I mean, no, I mean, I, I, obviously, I, I take that as a compliment. Yeah, yeah. like if you, get two, if you get 200K from my show, uh, yeah. I'm yeah. doing something right. Yeah, but I mean, it's an interesting looking shoe. I mean, honestly, I wouldn't rock it, bro. It's not something I'd go out and buy. No, definitely not. It's, uh... I just saw the top. Inspired yeah. by... Did you say anything? Kooji? Mm. Yeah, I thought they were Kooji uh, Air Force One <laughs> first. They're scheduled to drop next or November. Okay. Retail is $160. Okay. Chris, you know, I'm going to give, I'm gonna give, you, guys, I'm gonna give yeah. you guys a backstory on hey, this. Chris. So, I was going to say this on Twitter... Because LeBron unboxed his uh, his uh, LeBron Clear seventeen. Patrick, huh? Patrick Chris, real quick. Uh, I got you. I got you. Clear Patrick Chris. Uh, he he posted a video of him unboxing his uh, his seventeen shoe, mm-hmm. the future air, the model. Mm-hmm. It's Nike sent him a big box and it was like yeah. you know all dope, uh, dope and everything. They put in a pull tab that had a pull out of all his shoes all the way leading up to the seventeen. So every model from one to seventeen. He points out the LeBron seven. Which that is, mm-hmm. and was like, that's my favorite model. That's my favorite one. I was going to go on Twitter and be like, oh, he's going to do some exclusive stuff this year with yeah. the, the LeBron Seven. LeBron Seven. But I didn't post it out because I was like, no, <clears throat> no, they, they don't deserve this because nobody's gonna, yeah, nobody's gonna care. Nobody's gonna listen to me. Nobody's gonna, you know, all that stuff. Gets to seventeen. Yeah. Have we seen him in the 17 yet? No. Nope. No. Well, technically we have. Okay. He's been rocking. Yeah, it's the park. Yeah. yeah. So, but, like, he really trying to show us that. Yeah, well, because he can't. Yeah. He can't. Okay. Yeah. But well, what did we see this past media day? Media day? He was so, in a uh, mismatch. Laker. Uh, he was in that on uh, the LeBron 7. It should be on A somewhere. purple one and a gold one. Mitch match. Uh, Mitch showing match, out. bro. Get your enunciation in there. Hey. Separate, man. Get in there, dog. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Hey. So I'm going to tell you this. We're hiring for another uh, co-host. So I'm just letting you know if you would like to be the second. You're going to have to travel with I think him, Omar's got this. Omar. Omar's the second. Omar's up next. Hey. I'm letting you know now. I'm looking for new co-hosts because yeah, we might be down one after this week. Just letting you know if you need, if you want a spot, we 
We, we, we making changes. We making changes. We making changes, we making changes, changes bro. We, we can talk about making changes, changes on there. Yeah, it ain't coming up, bro. Oh no, I, I, it's my company. Shout out. Hey, hey, shout out to my. I have, no, I have. I have a picture of him. I have a picture of him. So this, uh, this, oh, this, you got to Yeah, I forgot about. Man, so, this, bro, come on. So fire thoughts. <laughs> yeah, I like that. Yeah. He came. He came out media day and was like, made it because media day statement time. So LeBron came out with those. Mm-hmm. He said, "I'm doing sevens. And I'm, I, I have this thing, a feeling that it's going to be seven heavy this year for him. Like uh, a retro? Runs, yeah, like a lot of retro. Of yeah, because we heard the rumors of the red carpets coming back out, mm-hmm. which get rest. Yeah. What are your thoughts on the red carpets? I like the, you like the show. Yeah. yeah. I think we have hair back there, actually. Oh yeah. But that yeah. So I always thought like he's going to come out with something. That is one of LeBron Grails right here. He's gonna come out with something fire this year for his sevens. I already know it. Um, you think we're gonna re- we'll get a release on something like that? I doubt it. No. Yeah, no, 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 no. No, there's no way. Um But yeah, so with all that being said, yeah. We've we I've I've already put out my disc. I'm gonna yeah. let y'all know. Mm-hmm. Just this coming soon. Yeah. Um I'm gonna I'm gonna put it on my socials by the way. I'm gonna sponsor your disc. It's all good. Y'all got some beef. Yeah, what's going on right now? No, just, cold, cold no, right you're, now. Not, you're not going to sponsor my disc, no. It's going to be like a real game uh, Black Wall Street disc. It's going to be a whole album, and it's going to be like a two-hour album of just all diss tracks. Anthony, you, remember, you remember that disc track? You remember that all Black Wall Street, the game you against you 50 Cent in June? In the just, background just, right here? You're not? <laughs> Give us all the stuff that you're working on right now. Yeah, bro. This is the real outro right here. Yeah. Hey, um, yeah, no worries. Um, I'm working on a lot of things right now. My mind's kind of everywhere. I'm trying to finish my album up. I've just had so many things that kind of got implemented into it. A lot of artists and new like, features. and um, So it's good problems, I guess. Yeah, like, oh, yeah. I, a lot of good problems. Yeah. Like, we're just like, we're working more. You yeah. know, we got more people that want to work with us, so... You know, it's just one of those things where I'm just been piecing it all together. I got another video dropping out with uh, Compton Menace and mm-hmm. uh, Hash. We just shot it last weekend. It's called Envy. So uh-huh. That's a song I have collab with Hash. Uh, we make music together. Shout out to Hash. Uh, we started Hash Gang up last year when I came back in music. And, you know, and he's my boy. He's you know he's always done his thing with music. And yeah. We started that. Envy was like probably our fourth or fifth song we recorded together with when uh, we got signed to Menace. So. That was when it was like an intro to like MHG and everything. So we finally shot the video and everything. So that's going to come out. No Reggie shot it. So shout out to him. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, and we've just been, you know, I've just been working. We got that album coming out too. So that's another thing I'm working on too. That's coming out almost at the similar time frame, like November, December. Okay. So I'm just cutting corners here. Just trying not to cut the corners I need. You yeah. know what I mean? So, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I've just been uh, grinding. Um, I got a lot of collabs with some sponsors coming out. I got a new flavor of puff sauce. If you guys aren't familiar, it's a THC like syrup. Okay. And it's very popular actually throughout the nation now. Um, they're doing well. Um, so we're going to come out with the collab, strawberry kiwi. It's mm. going to be a dope flavor. You know what I mean? You can throw that in anything really. And uh, shout out to Exotic Club. I should not forget to mention that. Those are the homies. So um, they're located out of Orange County. They got like the best prices on anything exotic snacks or like or, or any exotic soda. So they uh, they're really dope. So we got a collab coming where the album release is gonna have like 50 limited edition like um, exotic club cups with my logo and stuff on there for the album. So we'll have like a listening party and nice. everything. Okay. Is there is there anywhere where we can yeah find all? Music? Yeah, yeah everywhere. Um, my music is. Uh, um, distribution everywhere. So, yeah. in other words, you guys, you guys will be able to find it by googling me. Um, so, if you no if you have Google, if you have Google, Apple, Google me, Chuck. <laughs> if you have Apple Music or like Spotify, you know, you can go yeah. ahead and stream. You know, you're good to go. So, that's okay. dope. Yeah. All right. Well, we want to thank you for stopping by. We know it's been a long uh, process getting you here. Yes, sir. So, we want to thank you for you know stopping by and taking time out. We definitely want to hear all the music. Uh, we'll give our links for everything. It's like that. Yeah, um, but yeah, oh, give them last where they can find you on. Oh, yeah. So uh, Instagram is Michael Dean Official. Mm-hmm. Uh, my Twitter, it's Michael Dean with a Z. Mm-hmm. Um, you can find me there. Uh, Facebook page. I got a fan page for that. Yeah. Um, and then I also have like a... Yeah, pretty much that's the only page I know of. <laughs> but, uh, 
But yeah, also my regular Facebook page is uh, Michael Dean official page. Um, that's just like where you can find any music connected to all those social media. So. Okay. All right. Well, thank you so much for talking about it, man. I know. It was thank fun. You guys. Let's get it. Oh, yeah. oh.